Yeah, this is no doubt welcome news to the many people who were outraged by this case. Prosecutors now saying that they do believe they can prove the animal suffered moments before being killed. Well, Sunday, 45-year-old Christopher Dillingham allegedly attached a homemade explosive device to the family's Labrador retriever, Cabela, and blew the dog up. Now, he told police that he believed the world was going to end because of a nuclear strike and said he was preparing for it. He said he blew up the dog because his ex-girlfriend had given it to him and put the devil in it. Uh, initially, Dillingham was charged with second-degree malicious, malicious mischief, reckless endangerment, and possession of explosive devices, but not animal cruelty. Prosecutors said that charge can only be used if the animal would have suffered, but in this case, they thought the dog died instantly. Then late this afternoon came the change of plans. Prosecutors now telling Coin6 they do believe this dog suffered in the moments in the seconds before the blast, and they say they plan to issue animal cruelty charges charges at a court appearance next week. Uh, animal cruelty in the first degree is a felony in Washington, punishable by up to five years in prison and or a $10,000 fine. Kelly. Thank you, Chris. And you can stay with Coin6 for continuing coverage of this case. Coming up for you at five now, you will hear from a woman who pushed for stricter laws after her dog was kidnapped and held for ransom and killed. Well, document